Yo, what's up, guys? JJ Games here, and today I'm unboxing the Nacon Compact Wire Controller for the PlayStation 4. It could also be used for the PlayStation 5. I just decided to buy this because PS5. I'm about to get a PS5, and there's no point in getting a fully flush PlayStation 4 controller. So I might as well just get this. A good controller, officially licensed by Sony, and it costs less than a PlayStation 4 controller. A PlayStation 4 controller costs like fucking 70 bucks. And I thought like, why waste money on something that costs, you know, like $70? We could get something that costs like 50. And there was a reviews online and they said that this controller has less input lag than the normal Sony officially licensed PlayStation controller. So this is my first time getting one of these. My first time getting one of these. I really hope it's worth it the money. Okay. Yeah, that, that, was, that was pretty easy. It's packed way easier than the PlayStation 4 controller too. It's packed way easier. Sorry, let me touch this out real quick. Okay, there it is. Here's the manual. There's an image of it. Oh no, that looks like a different version. Um, okay, there it is. There are there are actually different versions where the thumbstick is right here, but I wanted to get the one that's similar to the PlayStation 4 controller. First feel, wow, it feels really nice. It feels really, really nice. Really nice, wow, wow. Wow, it feels really good, really good. Wow, this is high quality. This is this has to be one of the best wire controllers I've ever felt in my life. The D-pad's amazing. This might be even better. This might, this might give it the PlayStation 4 controller a run for its money. Wow, that feels amazing. That feels incredible. And both thumbsticks are different. Yeah, the triggers feel really nice. Really nice. That's high quality. That is nice. Wow. Okay, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next one.